Hi there everybody, uh, welcome to my Yoni painting video. I uh, hope you have come to have a little look at how I complete my artworks and maybe you will have a little takeaway and might see some techniques or process that you like and you might want to try out for yourself. Um, I think mostly art uh, is trial and error and you've got to be confident in making mistakes. So uh, some of the best um, works I feel that I've done have been just through little happy accidents. So um, yeah, always be confident enough to try things and make mistakes. It's the best way. It's the only way to learn really. Okay, let me do a little bit of painting. So I'm just working with acrylic and what I'm actually doing at the moment is just um, using some paint that I had left over from uh, doing a, a large work and um, I like to keep it in a little container. You can see here, um, just some glad wrap over it and it keeps for days if not weeks so if I want to come in and just use a teeny bit of color I can do that. I also have a um, clear glazing or um, painting medium that I'm using as well. And that's Atelier Interactive and basically um, I'm just wanting to come in and put some light glazes over these colors so that's what I've been doing and working on here. And I'm just putting a little bit of the um, pigment on and then using my brush with a teeny bit of glaze or water on it and um, yeah just kind of moving it out blending it in a little bit and I'm just wanting to give it a bit of a warmer a bit more warmth and body in there and form yeah, just going to have a little play around with this and um, feel it out. I like to feel out my artworks. <laughs> Gosh, I hope that doesn't sound too crass. What I'm trying to do is really feel for um, the shapes that I'm going to be putting in here. Paying attention to what each mark I do, like it's actually doing what I want it to do. And if it doesn't do what I want it to do, I'll go over it. What's probably one of the best things about working with acrylic and I'm absolutely loving that it is so forgiving. Coming from being a watercolour artist when, yeah, you make a big, bold decision, you're kind of stuck with it. This is a very different situation. Uh, we can just paint over things, layer it, layer it build it up and go over things with... Uh, my pens and uh, these like paint pens to go over things that's where all this white is coming from and yeah it's kind of fun huh it's really fun so that's definitely warmed that up uh, I was thinking should I go over that again but actually I'm gonna not touch that too much because this warm ready yellow color that I've got going on here is um, going to be really nice when I put white over it. So not only am I thinking about um, the colors that are on there at the moment, I'm thinking about the next process and what's going to happen. So the contrast between the white and um, the bolder colors is really nice, really delicious like here and here, but sometimes I get a little bit nervous about it. Anyway, I'm just going to keep going and yeah, we'll see what I come up with. Yeah, I've got a little bit of uh, yellow pigment. And I previously put some purple and kind of peachy colors down on this Yoni. And I'm just using a really dry brush stroke to go over it. So very little pigment is coming off 
onto the canvas, but that's pretty cool. I like it. Um, oops, a daisy. Yeah, that's spring. And yeah, I'd like to hear what you think about this this yoni art. Tell me. Be nice though. Okay. Bye guys. Peace out.